Welcome to my Celestron Skymaster 25 by 70 binoculars review. Today I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions of these binoculars, having used them for several weeks now, and I also want to show you exactly what they look like. So if you're considering these binoculars, you've got a better idea of what you could be getting. So as you can see, this is the travel case that they come in. I'm really impressed by this particular travel case. Firstly, it has this kind of handle, which makes it really, really good for kind of carrying with you and taking them on the go. And secondly, it's really well padded. So you're keeping your binoculars safe at all times. Now this does come included. If you want to see everything that you get, if you are to purchase these binoculars, then there'll be a link in the description below that will take you to a video I recorded of unboxing these particular binoculars. So I thought I'd just mention that. Now let's look at the binoculars themselves. So I'm just going to take them out of the travel case. So, as you can see, so I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but you, you're getting a rough kind of idea of their general size now, okay? So they are pretty big. Um, there is talk about them, you know, in terms of their weight, and I will briefly be touching on that in the rest of this review. But first, I just want to kind of mention the build quality. They're really well constructed. They've got a really nice kind of finish. Hopefully you can see that. And they just look fantastic. I really like their kind of general look uh, and design. When it comes to their specifications and their kind of optical performance, the 25 by 70, as you likely already know, stands for the magnification times by the objective lens, so 25 times magnification. And that is absolutely brilliant for kind of exploring deeper into the sky. Um, I found that the, the focusing is a little bit sensitive, uh, but with a little practice, you do get uh, the hang of it. So the eyepiece, I don't know if you just saw that, but ch chances are you did. The eyepiece uh, protector did just fall off, and that's one thing to bear in mind. I think you can attach it, you can see that here, you can attach it to the binoculars, but I haven't done that. And as you notice, that is kind of loose. So that's perhaps one minor downside that just, just kind of be mindful of, because uh, as you'll see, I, what just happened to me there, that, that has happened a few times. It's not a big, big issue, but it is something to be aware of. Now back to the optical performance. So in terms of the 70 millimeter objective lenses, they're really good for gathering light. So I found that even you know during the darkest periods of the night or really really dim conditions, I'm able to get a really good glimpse into the sky. Um, I've got I've seen some really really great celestial objects. I'll touch on those in a moment, um, but those objects did appear very very sharp and clear as well. Um, one thing I would mention is that the colour that you see objects in through these through these binoculars is a little bit dimmer than you would see with your naked eye. So just bear that in mind. That is an expected result. That does kind of happen with, through binoculars. So one thing, due to the, due to the optics here and the, the, the magnification and uh, optical uh, objective lenses that these binoculars provide, you will notice they are slightly bigger than perhaps some other binoculars out there. Now, one thing you might want to consider is getting a tripod if you're looking to use these for an extended period of time. So I actually think they're okay to, to hold for several minutes, especially if you hold them uh, here as opposed to underneath with your thumbs. Um, I find that I can hold these for, for quite a while but there are many users who report that it's kind of better to use a tripod um, because they do get they do tend to uh, feel a bit heavier over time especially if you're pointing them towards the sky for extended periods. Um, other people use other objects um, such as you know fences to rest their arms on and that, that may be something you want to consider um, ahead of getting these. Now one thing one other thing to mention is that they are, uh, I believe, water resistant. So that's really, really important if you're looking to observe in, in areas where there could be rain. Um, so just bear that in mind as well. Now, what have I seen with these? Well, I've been fortunate enough to see the moon in really, really good detail. Um, I've also seen various different star clusters and even the International Space Station, which was really, really enjoyable to watch um, and observe. In terms of kind of specifics of the, of the solar system, uh, I've also seen the four Galilean moons of Jupiter and Jupiter I've seen as a kind of bright disk with the separation between those moons uh, and, and, and Jupiter itself. Venus and Saturn are a little tough to observe, but it's definitely possible under the right conditions. Um, I've also seen a number of different star clusters, including the, including the NGC 1981 and M35 in Gemini. Uh, they're really fascinating to observe. Uh, and there's many other star clusters that you can, you can watch depending on the conditions um, as well. Also, 
these are great for terrestrial viewing, which they are sold first and foremost as astronomy binoculars, but they are really, really good for terrestrial viewing. One thing I like to watch in particular is airplanes. They're really, really interesting to watch. You can get some really, really good views, but you can also use these for watching wildlife, birds, and those kind of things as well. I think all in all, um, at their price point, you're going to struggle to find a pair of binoculars like these. I really do think that they're a good investment. And I think, especially if you compare them to the kind of premium high priced binoculars, I think, I think these really do offer a really good alternative and entry point, uh, especially if you're new to astronomy or you're looking for your first pair of binoculars. Um, I've mentioned that you may want to get a tripod as well. I wouldn't say that's mandatory, but it is maybe an investment you will need to make down the line, particularly if you want to look at into the sky for longer periods of time. Um, lastly, I would say that if you're looking for you know, a, a multi-purpose pair of binoculars, so, so ones that you can observe not only the, the sky at night uh, for astron astronomy purposes, but also for terrestrial purposes, these seem to be the kind of perfect um, combination, if you like, the perfect choice for both. I think if you were to get binoculars at any bigger than this uh, or provide any more magnification then, or objective lenses, then you're gonna really, really struggle. So I think this is probably the highest you could go. Um, so it is the, probably the best pair of binoculars you can get for that combination. So if you are interested in doing both, then I would suggest that you get these. As well, if you're new to astronomy, I think these are fantastic. And if you haven't got a pair of binoculars yet, I also think they're a great, great choice. So hopefully you enjoyed this Celestron Skymaster 25 by 70 binocular review. If you have any questions about them, comments, please drop them down below and I'll get back to you um, on my experiences and my general thoughts and, and maybe my own research on them as well. Um, and do be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, and overall, uh, I think they're a great pair of binoculars and I wish you all the best.